सो फर्स्ट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड लाइक दिस वीडियो प्रेस दी बेल आईकन and make sure to join our whatsapp and telegram hello friends welcome to our channel bang on theory so friends in this video we are going to discuss java question which have been asked in tcs ira so friends this video is very important because if you want to prepare for your upcoming opa and for your ira and also for your pra so you can refer this video and also we are going to discuss this question and solution part very thoroughly so please don't skip this video and also please subscribe our channel and like this video and also you can join our whatsapp and telegram group so let's start first uh, we will try to understand what actually this question say okay so in this question first we need to create a, a solution class and also need to implement two static methods first is find average bill by branch and also next is discount by bill amount okay in solution class and also we need to create uh, another class which is uh, customer information class and we need to take this attribute as an input first is customer id of int data type and next is customer name of string data type and next is bill amount of double data type okay and number of items of int data type and also branch name of the string data type okay in solution class first we need to create the main method and after main method we need to use scanner object to read values uh, to the above uh, attributes to refer the above attributes in this above sequence and also we need to uh, read uh, a value of search parameter okay and the search parameter are first is branch name and next is bill amount and the next is starting letter name so these are our search parameter which will be used for our uh, logical and operational part okay and uh, there are two classes okay and first is solution next is customer information okay and also uh, we need to create getter and setter methods and also parameterize constructor you can also skip this getter and setter method if you don't want to use if you will not have an, any uh, enough time okay so you can directly access that particular variable without using getter and setter methods okay i hope you understood so next let's discuss the logical part so first in first method we need to implement this uh, logical uh, condition so first we need to take the input parameter and input two input parameters first is array of customer information objects and next is string parameter which is branch name okay and uh, what we need to return this method will return the average so first we need to cal calculate the find out the average but there is the condition uh, to find out the average uh, whose branch name we need to find out the average of that particular bill amount attribute uh, in the customer information object uh, whose branch name branch name attribute is equal to the given attribute string parameter branch name if this branch name search parameter at attribute will be equal to branch name attribute okay which is already stored in our array array customer information object okay if this condition will satisfy okay so then then we need to find uh, find out the average okay and if there are no objects with the mention criteria okay then the method should return zero okay i hope you understood and the next method inside next method we need to find out first the we need to take three input parameters first is array of customer information object and next is parameter bill amount of double data type and string parameter of uh, starting letter of name okay so these are our input parameters for discount bill amount method so what we need to return this method will return the customer information object but there is some condition we need to return this uh, object okay uh, and we can say the particular record but there is some condition first condition is if the customer name attribute okay which is already stored in which we have taken as an input in inside the customer information object okay if that particular uh, attribute customer name starts with the given input parameter starting letter of name okay if this search parameter starting letter of name will be equal to and we can say the first parameter first index value character okay will be equal to customer name attribute first character okay first condition is this and the next condition if the bill amount attribute is greater than or equal to the given input parameter bill amount if the search parameter bill amount value will be equal to the bill amount attribute value okay so we need to find out the discount value and we can say we need to give the discount 
of 20 percent okay if this condition will satisfy else we need to give the and uh, we should be uh, discounted to 10 percent okay so this is logical part and also we need to uh, assign the value and we can say the store the value to the object before returning it okay if any of the above conditions are not met then the met method should return null okay i hope you understood this uh, conditions are very important okay for the logical and operational part so what we need to print uh, as an output okay output part so after uh, getting the uh, result and we can say the result part okay so what we need to print for first method find average bill by branch method we need to print the average bill amount calculated as it is okay if the but there is some condition if the return value is greater than zero okay then we need to print this average bill amount value as it is otherwise we need to print this statement there are no customer purchase in that particular branch okay for discount by bill amount method we need to print the customer name and bill amount of the return customer information object okay that particular uh, object customer information object and inside this object we need to particular uh, uh, print the these two variables first is customer name and next is bill amount okay customer name and bill amount should be concatenated with while printing okay we also need to concatenate uh, concatenate both variables and both values while printing and also example is also given uh, priya colon 4000 dot 0 okay so where priya is the customer name and 4000.0 is the discounted bill amount okay and if the return value is null then we need to print no okay so this is the printing part okay <sighs> sample input is already given so as we can see there are four records okay in each record there are five attributes first is customer id of entry data type next is customer name of string data type and bill amount of the double data type and number of items of entry data type and next is branch name of string data type and at last we need to uh, take search parameter as an input first is branch name and next is bill amount and next is starting letter okay which we need for our logical and operational purpose and output should be this okay so let's move towards the solution part so first we need to cre create the class name solution and then the main method and then we need to create an array whatever data structure you want to use you can create okay so in this code in this solution we create an array okay name ci okay then we create an scanner object okay and then next create a loop to and then take all parameter as an input okay customer id customer name this sc dot next line concept we already discussed if you don't know about this then you can uh, refer our previous video okay then take all parameter as an input and then call the customer information constructor to initialize all variables and to the and to match the data types of that particular attributes okay and then we need to create uh, uh, take these three uh, variables as an input first is branch name next is bill amount and next is starting letter of name so these are our search parameters okay i hope you understood next this is then we need to call our function okay and store that particular uh, result and output value in this average value and pass and passing value is first is array array object customer information array object and next is branch name search parameter okay and this is our printing part and the and if that particular result value and average value is greater than zero then print average value as it is else print this statement okay then next uh, call this second method and pass all the parameters and first is array of objects next is bill amount parameter and next is starting letter of name and printing condition is if that particular result value not equal to null then print customer name okay customer name attribute and uh, get bill amount attribute okay and else print no okay ending of main method so inside this find average bill by branch method okay first we need to take two parameters 
uh, as an input okay first is uh, array of object custom on information and next is string parameter branch name and also we need to create uh, find out the average okay so initialize this uh, that particular variables okay sum and count okay and next create a loop initialize with zero to the length of array then we need to apply our condition okay so if the branch name attribute is equal to branch name search parameter case sensitivity uh, not mentioned in our question so we need to ignore case sensitivity so we used equal ignore case method to ignore case sensitivity if this branch name search parameter will be equal to branch name attributes uh, stored inside in customer information object okay so find out the average so we need to find out the average first we need to find out summation then count variable increment for our denominator part and at last if count well uh, count value not equals to zero to find out the average and then print the average okay and else if count value equals to zero then return zero okay in next method uh, discount by bill amount method okay the input uh, input parameters are customer information area of object and next is bill amount uh, value of type double and next is starting letter of name of type string okay and we initialize uh, m object of type customer information equals to null and to give the discount uh, also we need to use uh, discount variable okay so create a loop and initialize with zero to the length of array and uh, we also uh, refer that particular value also case sensitivity is not mentioned in this question so we convert that customer name uh, value to the lower case okay and store in this string variable okay that particular required value customer name in this uh, string variable and starting letter of name search parameter value is also stored in this uh, fd variable fp and fd variable of string data type okay then we need to find out the zero index value okay F first first character value so we use dot caret method and zero index position and store in this uh, character variable string and string one okay then we apply our condition if that uh, if these particular strings will be equal then apply this condition okay if that particular get bill, am uh, bill amount okay bill amount attribute is greater than equal to bill amount search parameter okay then we need to give the discount of 20 percent okay then store this value in discount variable and set bill amount value to this discount value and store this value in this m object before returning okay else if that uh, condition will not satisfy then we need to give the discount of the 10 percent okay discount value store in this discount variable and store and set bill amount value to this discount value and store this this value in this m object okay if this uh, condition will not satisfy then and uh, f uh, if m object equal equal to null okay then return null value else return m object okay so i hope you understood and then we need to create this customer information class and um, declare all variables and all attributes okay and also we need to create an parameterized constructor to uh, initialize all our attributes and for data type matching purpose okay and then we need to create getter and setter methods if you want to use then you can use getter and setter method if you if you will have enough time then i recommend you to use getter and setter method because questions is to uh, right getter and setter methods okay so and at last ending of customer information class so i hope you understood this question and this solution if you have any problem you can freely ask in comment section and please subscribe and support our channel thank you friend so thanks for watching please support our channel join and follow us